bank and we're ready for the kickoff LT will kick it to Billy Wima to start off this Chiefs final let cook go let's go we'll take it to the 21 and that's where Billy Wima will start hands it off to McFadden McFadden to the 24 and stick it with that running game McFadden had some huge runs in the semifinals yeah, his first two times he touched the ball went for six. So LT already slowing him down a little bit compared to where he start, started off last game. But it will be huge for Weimer to put a drive together early here, Scott, and get the crowd really into it. We saw them rooting on their hometown hero right now. And if he can establish momentum early, that builds all kinds of momentum going into this championship game. Great run by McFadden there on second down. You saw the overplay to the left side and a good job cutting it back. Moves the chains, ball at the 34. And, you know, this is what you got to watch. This is not the youth movement here in Kansas City. They're going to chew this clock up. Oh, he's got room. And McFadden almost got away. That was Mark Barron holding on for dear life. And I like that big formation from Wima. He went down to a strong, tight pair. And that's good against these nickel type defenses. You really want to pound the rock and play grown man football because LT doesn't have the personnel out there to stop that, uh, you know, heavy set run game. And there Ooh, is the quick, that's and that's the first time he's still got two yards. It's ridiculous how yeah. fast Cooks can turn it upfield. It's two yards when it's a bad play, <laughs> but then there's always that home run potential there from Cooks. And it, before that Cooks came out, Weimer said the guy that he had in that spot was none other than Tyreek Hill. So upgrade just a little bit as far as the item goes. But Hill, congratulations on his win in the showcase. But this is the finals. This is it. This is it, Scott. This is LT on his decade-long chase for glory and Billy Weema trying to live a childhood dream where you'd be able to represent and be a part of the Kansas City Chiefs organization. It's all on the line, Scott. All types of glory up for grabs right now. Second and 12, they go to McFadden. Oh. And a good job closing it down. There was Collins came in, allowed no room. So now big third and 11. Obvious passing down for Billy Weemo. That Collins is a beast, Scott. He's six foot three, 88 speed, 96 jump, with 95 hip power and 88 zone. That's the most versatile, one of the most versatile, uh, versatile linebackers that we have in all of Ultimate Team, and not a lot of people use them. It's like LT found a little gem that nobody was really aware of. Mariota, third and eleven. They're sending a bunch of guys the deep. Defense. The if he defense. throws it up, he's got to get rid of it. He'll just throw it away and live to fight another day. You're at the 43. I think you got to go. That's the finals. Yep. And we talk about this a lot in our broadcast. People be like, oh, it's fourth down. Why would you be going for this? This is fake football, whatever. Calm down. It's a 20-minute game. It's a 20-minute <laughs> game. This isn't, you know, a, you know, a full three-hour, hour-long game yeah, that yeah. they play in the NFL. Possessions are so much more important in Madden. Uh, each possession is that much more important than it would be in a regular football game because of the a clock. Quick throw to Fitzgerald. He held it. And that's why you do it, and everybody loves Larry. And that's why you have Larry on the team. You have Cooks for the drags, the deep vertical routes, Fuller, kind of the same thing. But when you need to throw a high ball in traffic and someone to go up and get it, who better than Larry Fitz, the veteran? So first and 10 from the 42. We mentioned Wima in the red. Counter. LT in the white. I think he's going to have room to work. Nice job picking up the block. Did not get free, but still. Picks up three and a half, make it four. And Wima is actually one of the only players in the entire tournament who didn't completely tank his offensive line. He has a Tony Boselli, gold legend, 80 overall, as well as a, a couple silvers on, a silver tier players on his offensive line where everybody else went bronze. And that may very well be contributing to the success he's having on the run game, with the run game in this tournament. Especially in the counters and the power O's, you get those guys pulling. I like how he mixes it up too. Like you said, counter, power O, little inside zone out of shotgun. Yeah, he, he has a good draw. He has a good variety of run plays in his arsenal. Three, three, three. 60 seconds to go here in the first. Third and five. Gets rid of it. Cooks. 
Got tripped up before he could get to the marker. And now it's fourth and two from the 34. It'd be a 51 yarder from there. And with Justin Tucker, that's like a layup. LT, you gotta be careful. He might block this off the edge. He... And that's why he's holding it. He holds that snap just a little bit longer that's a... to mess up the timing. Good call, Scott. And Billy Wema strikes first. I play the game, bro. You do. I've seen you. <laughs> I, I told you. I tune into the Scott Cole show. You think I'm bluffing, dog. That, True. I've seen you in there. It, that was good for Wema to get points on the board. And it's also a victory for LT for his defense to stay strong and prevent, you know, the touchdown. So very evenly matched up uh, game right now. It's going to be a big drive for LT. I'm really interested to see how Wema deals with this split close. And I got to talk to LT briefly in the back. Scott, he has scary focus right now. He knows what's on the line. He, he was dead serious. He couldn't get any smirks out of him or anything. He is all business. He has been waiting for this moment for a very long time. He knows he's going up against a hot player in Billy Wemo, who has a ton of momentum, but he just does not feel like he will be denied in this situation. And, and Reese, Reese is on his horse, getting vintage. Kraft trying to chase him down. And he will knock him out of bounds at the two yard line, but a huge gain. 73 yards for Reese. Reese going for glory right there, Scott. I'm sorry. I just jump into the call mid play, but I can't help it. I get excited on those big plays. And right when we're talking about LT having scary focus, being locked in, he goes and rips one for 50 plus. Strong right, strong huge gain. We're in the chip. It's amped. 18 to go, and he'll reach out. Won't get there. He go hurry up. 12 seconds left in the quarter. And he'll rush it again. And no. Wow. And he might want to take this to the second quarter. Doesn't have a choice. Yeah, can't get his guys back up on side. So one quarter has gone by in the championship. Wow. And Kansas City's own Billy Wema with a field goal lead. Oh, my gosh. Wema can get LT's oh knocking at the door. Needs a stop, won't what get it. that? I don't understand right there. Wema had decent sneak D. He was taking the linebacker, filling him over that, and playing that zero technique, going over the center, but just didn't get it set up in time right there and let LT walk in for the touchdown. Rare mistake from Wema. Four plays, 75 yards, and LT has got an early lead. And now Billy Wema is going to have an opportunity to answer. And he has so far in most of his games with this offense, one of the most prolific offenses we've seen all tournament. The problem he faces is where he's blatantly going up against the most prolific defense we've seen all tournament. And LT's nickel 245, that's been phenomenal thus far. So first and 10 from the 25. And McFadden, hell oh. Bud, do pre. Madden, superstar future NFL superstar. That happens often, Scott. Yeah. Players become superstars in Madden before they're superstars in the NFL, but shortly thereafter, they become superstars in the NFL. We're ahead of the NFL meta in Madden sometimes. Jazier, Anthony Jay Barr, Cromarty, Sproles. This guy, yeah, I could go on all day. Barr's another good example. So second and 13, ball at the 22. After the three yard loss is Dupree. Really working his way into the backfield on first down. And at some point, Billy Weema's got to go to the air. LT so disciplined with the safeties on the back of that cover, too. And he finds Cooks. Nice little stick work. Oh, Still stumble recovery. Feet. Use a stumble recovery. It gets to the 47. So a little bit of stick work, some recovery. And he's out of the 47, a huge play on second down. And when we say stumble, use a stumble recovery, when you see that arrow come up underneath the player, that's informing you to flick the right stick down, and he's going to regain his balance and get back on his horse. Great stick work right there by Weeman to, to pull off the stumble recovery and pick up an extra five to six. First and ten. Ooh, it's the Mariota option. Hello, Oregon. Mariota's in the end zone. 
What a way to respond if you're Wima and the hometown Chiefs fans got to be going crazy right now because their hometown goon is fighting for him and he's up by three against LT. We got ourselves a championship ball game, Scott. We hadn't seen that all day from Billy Wima. You're right. You're right. The crush I have is just growing. <laughs> he pulls it. out the read option <laughs> and takes it to the crib. You can't even help it. Huh? Your tail's wagging, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the 4.02 to go. Billy Wema has the lead. And let's see how LT can respond right here. He had the big run with Reese. And if I'm Billy Weeman, that's what I want to do here. I want to stop the run game. If you're going to beat me, LT, it's not going to be Kelsey, and it's not going to be Reese. You're going to have to show me that you can air it out. And that's what he... See what they do here on first and 10. He's going to go the running game with Kelsey. And not bad. Holds him to two yards, second and eight. Still in that, that cover two, nickel blitz shell. And LT shown that he can run against that. Looking for Weeman to make an adjustment and really take this run away. Yeah, that 2 4 5, you only got two down linemen, so it's tough to stop the run sometimes. Yeah, the rest Swings of the line. it backers. outside and a big hit. Ooh. Anthony Barr. That's a grizzly right there. That's really a, almost the first time today we've seen Kelsey not haul it in on that wheel route. I think Weeman clicked on and made that user hit stick right there, which was good stick work by him. Well, when you stop the right side, they go to the left side. Reese. And he missed the hit stick on that one. He went for it, missed it. Not great stick work on that one. So first and 10, ball to 30. They go to Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey. Kelsey's got space. And if Reese will just get the heck out of the way, he'd be in the house right now. Yeah, he could have went to the cripple right there. Reese just slowed him down a little bit, a little contextual awareness animation when he tried to get by him. Just enough to slow him down for the defense to make a tackle. But again, if you're Wima, stop letting LT beat you with Reese and Kelsey. You need to take these guys away at some point and make them get these receivers involved. It's just so obvious to me what he wants to do. I know it's easier said than done, but until you show me a blatant adjustment to try to take it away, I'm going to keep on hounding you for it. So second and six, you saw Kelsey subbed out for the moment. Back in the game here on second down. Ball at the 44. LT trailing by three here in the finals. Well, a two down lineman, like you said, Scott, just doesn't seem like enough. If I'm LT, I'm just going to keep on running this rock. Well, and it's mostly, you know, in the two down lineman, he's still running linebackers down there. I mean, it's Bud Dupree yeah. as a defensive tackle. So, And they allow you to do that in the 2 4 5 formation. Put a little speed in there, a little speed package. Exactly. Third and six. Wilson. Here comes the heat. Can't. I say he can't get rid of it, but he got rid of it. Couldn't get it downfield. And now a big fourth and six. LT hesitated on that one, too. Got away from his run game. Maybe not too comfortable passing downfield. Had a slant coming across the middle. Missed it. Now gets himself in an awkward fourth and six. And he finds Reese and Reese. That first? We'll move the chains. You notice the players got a little sweat on their brow now. Oh, yeah. It's building up. Yo, the palms it's are building dripping. up up there. If we had palm cam right now, I guarantee you there would be some sort of sweat drip going on. That's, that's why it's you gotta, inevitable. I, that's why I got to have the denim. You, know, you got to have denim shorts, denim. You just want what? what you, you need mean? something. So that you need something scary. absorbent. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Before you know it, we're going to start having like the LeBron chalk all <laughs> over the place for the players. <laughs> That would be dope, actually, do the LeBron before a game. First and 10. You are witnesses to the finals. <sighs> Ball at the 33 now, second and six. Andy Reid on the sideline, the Grizzly himself, the coach of the hometown Kansas City Chiefs looking on. Mastermind. A mastermind. Absolutely an offensive mastermind. Players love him. Lucky to have him here in Kansas City. And the way Wima gets McFadden involved when he's on offense is very reminiscent of the way that Andy Reid likes to get his running backs involved. Yeah. You know, you, you, get, you get them handoffs, you get it to him in the passing game, a couple of those uh, motion screens that you see a lot from Andy Reid. I, maybe uh, Reid inspiring Wima a little bit. And here's the quarterback sneak on third and inches. 
So a fresh set of downs, ball at the 26. And you can definitely tell what LT's doing right now. He's trying to eat up that clock so there's no room to respond at the end of the half. Which is very smart. You don't want to, because you get the ball to start the second half. You can go ahead, get at least three here, our score, and then get the ball to start the second half and put up some points there. You're in good there's position, but he fumbled. Picked back up, ball at the 17, so second and one. Yeah, you, you, you get a chance to do the Seinfeld. You get a double dip the chip. <laughs> dip it one time, they get it back and do it again. I've never seen that episode, but I feel like I need to now. And Kelsey, now at the six. Surprise, Weem was not pulling some timeouts here, but I think he's okay. We've seen it before. He's okay with yes, coming well, up with a stop here. And he likes a slower style of game. That's just how, how he plays, so. It's kind of playing into his favor, but I'm proud of LT. We, 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 uh, I kind of got at him a little bit earlier in this tournament for yeah. bad clock management, but this far to end this drive, it's been biblical. It's been great. And he's, uh, there's no way Weem is going to get the ball with enough time to really do anything unless he gets a kick return or, or something like that. But this has been phenomenal by LT. He just needs to finish strong, though, Scott, and get himself seven to really make it count. Second and goal from the three. 13 seconds is the main number you need to know. Motion high out. To Julio. High pass to Julio. And he's going to throw it out there in great defense by the legend from Pittsburgh. Mel Blunt knocks it away. One of the most popular plays you'll see on our circuit is that verticals out of the gun punch. You motion out uh, that flanker. Oh, what a hit. You motion out the flanker receiver, get him to out by the sideline, hike the ball, and as he wheels up that sideline, you throw him a high ball and go to catch it. A play uh, made famous by one of our competitors, Mike Skimbo, who's in the top 10 of our. Uh, I've heard of him. Yeah. Pre pretty good, uh, uh, Matt. Pretty, pretty good player. Pretty good player. He's, he's been in a few. What a finals, been in a few finals, but has yet to take one home. What a half. LT and Billy Wima, we've started the second half how we started the game. We're all knotted up. This time, LT gets the ball. Oh, man, this is great. And that half went by quick, Scott. When you're, oh, yeah. when they're, you're they're in a half game the like this, the yeah. games go by very fast. But we got ourselves a dogfight at 10 10 to start the second half. Sometimes you'll see him. Sometimes you'll see him go to the rosters there just getting ready here. We're in the finals in RG. We've learned nothing so far. We just learned both these guys are tough in here for the halftime. Scott Cole, this is RG. You know, you're a former competitive player. What are you thinking in the finals? You're tied up 10 minutes to go. Well, you're thinking, don't let me buckle right here. <laughs> that, 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 that's first. But no, you got to just stay focused and you got to be confident. You got to know that you're going to win the game and you got to take it one play at a time to do everything you can to win that game. You can't think too many plays ahead. You can't think about what happened in the past. You got to stay focused at the task at hand and that task is winning this football game and making sure you're calling the plays to give yourself the best chance to do that. Very basic stuff, but way easier said than done. Well, now LT with the advantage because he's going to be receiving the ball to start the second half. If he can go down and score, now the pressure is really on Wima. Oh, absolutely. One thing that helps Wima, though, is being in his own backyard and having the crowd behind him. And sometimes that extra little momentum that you can get when you're playing at this high of level is the little extra boost you need to give yourself the edge. Well, before we get back to the game, let's take a look at the first half highlights in this one. 10 to 10 between these two guys slugging it out. Long field goal, 51 yarder, as Wima got stopped at the 34. And then Reese got on his horse, RG. Yeah, yeah, he sure <laughs> did right here, and he's galloping along. Look at Krause chase him down, but it wouldn't be enough. I believe LT will eventually go in and sneak it in for six, as we see right there. Uh, terrible sneak deep by Wima on that play. I was a little disappointed in him. Yeah, he had stopped one. him twice, but on third down to start the quarter, he just gave it up. This and then coming. Cooks puts a hand in the ground and picks up some big yards. Wima needed that to move the chains. And then, oh my goodness, flashback to Oregon as Mariota goes read option. And if you look at that play, if you're LT, that parted like the Red Sea. <laughs> if you're Wima, you got to go back to that play at some point because it obviously looks like that 2-4-5 defense isn't built to stop it. 
when something's that open, you got to go back to it at some point just to see, uh, do you have any chance of stopping this? Well, we're getting close here to the second half. These guys are tied up at 10. Talked about it. You know, LT coming from Texarkana, 31 years old. Billy Wema, 33 from nearby, just outside of Kansas City. Oh, Grain Valley, Missouri. And he's really the true Chiefs fan here. Yeah. And, and I don't think we've yet to have a club champion that feels as strongly about his team. And he's the eighth seed. He's the Cinderella. Clock wow. hasn't struck midnight yeah, yet. Yeah. No, not at all. And uh, if he continues to play like he's doing, I don't think it will. I mean, he he's, looks very impressive thus far besides, you know, the suspect sneak feed. Well, let's get down, back down to the field, back down to the stage here in the draft room here in Arrowhead Stadium. Man, it has been... First of all, they, they have been absolutely gracious host here in oh Kansas City. Goodness. We have enjoyed the city, the food, the stadium, the food, and the food. I, I know you just said <laughs> yeah, that. that <laughs> and the food. <laughs> the Madden's been great, too. Well, yeah, these eight competitors have done such, uh, such a good job. Sportsmanship all around. They came in. Really, everyone felt how you thought they would feel. They, they felt they had a chance to win it. Warhawk went down early. Billy Wema built, uh, beat him. And... Really, LT and Wema have been on a collision course this did entire bracket. Did I mention how good the barbecue was? I haven't had it yet. Is it good? <laughs> I had my fair share, no doubt about that. 10-10, LT with the ball at the 25 to start the half. Goes to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey will carry a few guys to the 40. A little change of formation from LT goes to an I twin wide receiver. A little nub set for the tight end. Gets it to the fullback. I like that. Change of pace. Give him a different look that he might not be used to. And he's running right at that blitz. See Wayne's out there at the 40. And Reese is able to bulldoze him to the 47 yard line. There's gonna be some guys going out there. You, you've seen some players today. The Reese, the McFadden, the yeah. Trey Waynes. It's been staple of this tournament thus far. That's one of the cool things about salary cap mode is since new players release pretty much weekly, yeah. you get to see a constant change in the meta. It's there's constantly different things happening, and it's not the same teams or the same teams over and over again. That's one of my favorite things about salary cap is personalities rarely come to life with the decisions they make. What they're Fast Gerald! Touchdown, LT! And all of a sudden, he's got the lead. And he was banging on the chair because he knows he's six more points closer to all the glory that he needs in his first major EA Madden Championship victory under his belt. He's never had a major, Scott. It's been something he's been chasing for a long time, and he just took a big step forward to almost be in there. But winner goes to Burbank. Winner wins $3,500 here today and you'll represent the Chiefs yeah, just, out in LA. Just from a straight cash standpoint, like Burbank's the big prize here, getting to play for 50,000, getting to represent the Chiefs. But if you're just talking about the blatant cash right now, this game is worth $1,500. Both of these players have guaranteed themselves two grand, but winning this game guarantees you 3,500 bucks. It's a big deal, Scott. Just overthrows Cooks as the safeties were barreling down on him in the middle of the field. So you're trailing by seven. Tries to take a shot there with the vertical routes. Now you got to go back to your game plan. No reason to abandon what has gotten you here. And here it is. I think he's going to go with that read option. I'm really anxious to see how this works, Scott, because like we said, it parted like the Red Sea last time, and he was Moses walking right through it. Does it happen again? Just a majority of the time, the AI players, the players you're not controlling, they won't squeeze down. They won't let Mario to get loose. But yep. all it took was one play. Yep, exactly. You need, you... And he made the right read on top of that. One, 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 sure did. Third and nine. One, one, Needs to move the chains, trailing by the touchdown here in the finals. He likes to drag the cooks in this situation. We've seen him throw it numerous times today. There it is. And there's Cooks. But he's short. Gonna be short after he gets tripped up. Usually uh -oh. was able to get two or three yards on a rack. 
and you know he has a two-yard play. Oh, but no. you, yeah, it's a wide receiver quick, but you got to think LT's ready for it. This is huge, Scott, because if LT stops him right here, he's already in field goal range, which allows him to easily kill clock and make it two possessions. Big play for Weimer right here. And it's right at two yards. This is it. This is huge, Scott. And he's going to go the air. Quick pass to Cooks. And you hold down the left trigger, go low. Any possession caught it with Any the A possession. Button. They're going low. Wow. Now, wow, that took some guts right there by Wema. That He could have had himself in a bad situation, but he converted. And he wide receiver quicks to the other side. That's the first time we've seen Fuller carry the rock. Maybe just trying to catch him off guard, second and six. If Wema learns not to press the right trigger on that wide receiver quick play yeah, just, and just use left stick. Running for days. Yo, it's going to be an issue for the opponent, Scott. It's going to be a real issue. Second and six. It comes on screen. Quick pass outside to McFadden. Caught a rack catch. And that's able to pick up the yards after the catch. Yeah, for those watching at home or here in Kansas City, you get three options when you're catching the football. One's a possession catch. A the other's button. a rack catch. X button. And the other's aggressive catch. Y button. And he went for the rack there, which allowed him to keep the momentum. It was on the, the tips of his fingers, but he picked up the first down. And now he's in plus territory at the 46. Here comes the counter. Here comes he's the counter. Rolling guard. He gets to the 39. You're OK with that run. It has so much potential, too. Like, he got about seven or eight off of it, but it could have been a home run. If I'm Wima, I'm definitely going back to that at some point. Scott Cole, RG, with you here in the finals of the Chiefs Club Championship. The final Club Championship of the tour. Winner goes to Burbank. Second and three, and McFadden reels off another eight. I love how he sticks with the run, too, Scott. So many players that we've seen all throughout this year abandoned the run so fast, but it's something that Wima has blatantly incorporated into his game plan. I mean, there's a reason he runs the ball 51% of the time when he's climbing the ladder. It's because it's something he's committed to, and it's something he's very effective with, as, as we've seen so far. We talked about that 2 for uh -oh. 5 though. Uh-oh! Anthony Barr loaded up for the big hit stick. But McFadden's able to hold on to it, second and 12. That, that could have been a disaster. That could have been a disaster. That was a lazy run right there, running the dive right at LT's user linebacker. We were very fortunate right there that he didn't cough the ball up, because he got clapped, and he got clapped hard. A little bit of motion. Good pocket. And Mariota down. It's going to be close. We'll have to check the spot third and inches. It did look like he slided just a bit too soon, but third and inches is no big deal. Yeah, you, you're better off sliding too soon than risking getting hit and fumbling well, you can ask the ball. Eamon. You want to ask Eamon about that? <laughs> exactly. Now the San Francisco. Toss. Oh, the toss. What a play And he call. should be able to get there. McFadden. No! Held on by Collins at the four. I love play calls like that, Scott. You know why the toss works in that third and inches? It's because he's trying to play sneak. They're all crashing the middle, and then you go to the outside and you get a big chunk for it. It's why so many people like to pass the ball in third and inches or whatnot, because you hit the defense where they're not expecting it. Great play call by Wima right there. Well, now he's deep in the red zone at the four yard line, trailing by a touchdown, first and goal. Don't run the dive again, Wima. The toughest four yards in Madden. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. And McFadden sort of delayed a little bit, falls backward to the one. I don't like that play call, Scott. I know Love the animation, though. The animation was good. He got three yards, but it was poor execution by LT. LT had an A-gap that he could have shot through with his linebacker and hit him with the backfield. We were very fortunate that LT wasn't able to make that play. And there's Cooks, wide receiver quick. No. You got to sneak it in. You have to. LT's the type of guy to have sneaky. When I tell you about these, sure you have to. And uh, when you're playing your, your normal buddy from at home, sneaks an automatic one yard. When you're playing a, a, against Jerry Littleton, who's been doing this for decades, he probably has sneaky. And there and it is. And there it is. And there it is, Scott. And so Sean Taylor flies through 
His third tackle of the game. Wow. And now what do you do? Does, he's going to go to his two-yard wide receiver quick. LT's already stopped it once for, for only a yard. This is it, Scott. All types of momentum on the line right here. Biggest play of the game thus far. To tie it up. Fourth and goal from the one. And there it's Cooks. Can't what get heck? there. Oh, Anthony Barr, you savage. LT, you savage. What a way to make a play. Weema shaking his head. And LT's got to be careful, though. He's in the shadow of his own end zone. First and ten. Goes oh, to the right. Kelsey. Weema. I thought it was a safety. So close. Kelsey couldn't get out of there. And now it's second and 11 from the half yard line. Oh, Billy. Billy had a chance to make a huge play right there, Scott. He still got him backed up, though. There's plenty, there's more opportunity. Dropping back, trying to throw it of his own end zone. Goes to that little wheel route that's been there for LT the entire tournament and picks up a big seven yards. Battle ready has spoiled so many players. Nobody can win a tackle battle when it's not the A button. Third and four, quick throw. Three. Over the middle, that's AJ Green. He moves the sticks. That, that is huge. a huge chain of events. You, Anthony Barr steps up, stops the touchdown. You get a nice wheel route, and there's the first down to A.J. Green. That was huge, and now you give yourself some breathing room on the 14-yard line. Much rather be on the 14 than on the 1. Look at that defense. He goes some man-to-man -man look right here from Weeman. He's got to be careful getting burned over the top if LT goes, uh, goes to the air right here. This is the time you need a turnover if you're Billy Wema. But I do like the cover one style defense because you know LT wants to run and you need to get more people in the box. And that's what it does right there. Notice LT against his boy. He wouldn't run it all the way down to one. It's the finals, dude. He's, he's eating every second of that clock. And he's been maturing throughout the tournament. We've sure. seen that with him. That'll end? Yeah, he less bad reads. Um, that was good defense though right there by Weeman though to go to the cover one look. That's the type of adjustments that I'm looking for from him to really take away what LT's trying to do. So second and 12 from the 12. Wilson big looking has a man Julio Jones and a huge conversion. We're getting down to Billy the Billy Weeman's got to call a timeout. First time out of the game. He's going to try to Stop him and use the two minute warning. That's why he goes for that quick timeout. A yeah. huge gamble. Yeah. Fortunate he made the tackle and Julio didn't. Uh, if Julio got by that one guy, it was to the crib. Fortunate tackle by Wima. So Wima calls his second timeout. 2.13 to go. We're in a battle. LT with the lead. Second and 10. He'll go to the air. Here's the blitz. Throws it up. Man to man, oh, and it's Weema. picked off. A user pick by Trey Waynes, and he's been there all day for him, RG. Yeah, you can't burn Trey Waynes over the top, and LT didn't want to go there, but the pressure was coming straight up that A gap, and he had no choice but to get rid of it, and it could cost him dearly. That was, oh, that's rough if you're LT. Everything's been looking crispy thus far. And then on the guap drive, you just chuck up a dice roll into one-on-one -on -one coverage. Not the greatest read at all, and he knows it. LT knows that's not the type of things you can be doing if you want to win games. But nonetheless, he needs to lock in, stay focused, and stay stingy. Second and 10, 2.05 on the clock, McFadden. Picks up six yards. So disciplined to go to the run on second and ten. Yeah, Weeman's got plenty of time here. And he, just stick with your game plan. You've been moving the ball just fine. LT stopped you on the one-yard line on a play that's been money all day long. You got plenty of time, Weeman. Don't change up anything. He's going to drop back. Quick bad throw. Read. Bad read. Uh-oh. Here it is. Here it is, Scott. This right here, folks, is the game. Fourth and six for the glory. Who Ball wants at it? the 36. Clock moving. 140 to go. Wima, LT. Who's it going to be, Scott? Who's going to be the 2017 Chiefs Club Series champion? McFadden. He throws to McFadden right there. And LT was hit. And LT was hit. LT was all over it. What scouted by Tizzy? Jerry Little did. May very well be walking away.
away as the Kansas City Chiefs Club Series champion. They got to be going nuts in Texarkana right now, Scott. It's been a decade in the making. And he'll run it on first down, second and eight, 123 to go to the championship. And it's awkward because he's only going to take a minute. If he doesn't get the first down, there's going to be about 20 seconds left on the clock for Wima. So LT's going to have to kick a field goal to make it two possessions. The problem that's with risky. Kick, that's risky. That's real risky. Wima can block <laughs> the kick and take it the other way for six, and that would be devastating if you're LT. He's, he's going to nail it right here. It's going to come down to that. It's going to come down to that field goal, Scott. And does Billy Wima have a block in his arsenal? The third and seven, Russell Wilson in the preemptive victory formation. And he'll take a knee. So 30 seconds, remember, just a 30 second play okay. clock. We haven't seen a block kick yet today, but we know that the guys on this it's level, I've it's seen there. plenty They're of them. fully <laughs> capable of it. And previous Maddens, this would almost be game over, nothing to worry about, but the block, the design block kicks are a new feature in the Madden 17, and you have to be careful right now if you're LT. Weimer can clutch up, block this kick, and take it the other way. This is an awkward situation for TZ, but there's not much else he can do other than risk it and kick this field goal, Scott. Well, let's see. He's going to go down, down to special teams. It's going to be a 49-yarder. <laughs> this for the win. This to send him to Burbank. The snap. The kick. It's up. He's got it. And LT. He's got it. Look at him. <laughs> Look at my guy, Jerry Littleton. I can't help but be happy for him. Billy Weem has been awesome, but... Like I said, this is a decade in the making for LT. He's put in so much hard work, so many lab hours. This is something he truly deserves, Scott. And it's a great way to show if you keep your mind stuck on something and you put in the work, you can accomplish your goals. And that's exactly what LT is doing today. Yeah, him Amazing. And his buddy made the trip up here from Texarkana. Aaron, who was one of our eight competitors. And he kept his promise to his friend. They said, whoever wins this game better not lay down and better go and win this whole thing. And LT kept his promise to Aaron because he didn't lay down and he went ahead and won the whole thing. And LT is your Madden 17 Chiefs Club Series champion. The 31-year-old from Texarkana has got it done. Look at him, he's had a big, a big sigh of relief right there from LT, putting on his bag, and now that trip back home to Texarkana is gonna be a lot sweeter than it would have been had he fallen to Billy Weimer. I do gotta say, Scott, yeah. hats off to Billy Weimer. Absolutely. I am a fan. Huge. The legend of Billy Weimer has grown <laughs> tremendously, and I truly hope we get to see him at more events because he played phenomenal Madden football today and it literally came down to a play on the one yard line. Literally maybe one yard away from it being a different ball game and having a different champion. But that wasn't the case. You got to give your props to LT. Well, we, this is the eighth club series, the final club series of this first season and 64 competitors. We've, we've met a lot of new faces. We've seen some of the normal faces, the true boys, the monsters. But we've met some new faces, and for a lot of people out there, LT, you mentioned a decade in the making, but he's one of the new faces. Let's go back to the stage with my man, Pete Sweeney. He has the champ. Here we are with LT, the Chiefs Club Series champion. Congratulations. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, too much stuff. I'm just excited. That check. Oh, man. Can't wait. Now Billy Wema gets to the goal line. What are you thinking at that point? I thought he was going to score. I had my mind run out the clock, kick three to win, and I got lucky, stopped him twice on the one. So good game to you. And then you're able to get this interception. At that point, do you think you, you knew you had it? Yeah. I, my pick, I thought he was going to be pressed, and he didn't press, and that was my bad. But that play, he'd been leaking out that running back the past two games, and me and Aaron talked about it. I knew he was going to do that in a crucial situation. So it just worked out. How important was Aaron to you? I mean, this is your friend. Uh, this is someone you came with. You beat him in the first game. How important was he in helping you win this championship? Oh, that's my guy. I mean, we've been doing this since Madden 08, traveling everywhere together, and just, I mean, that's my guy. No other words. So you're going to Burbank, but you win the $3,500 check. Any idea of how you're going to spend the money? 
Well, I'm glad y'all don't give it right now because I'm going to Vegas tomorrow, but I'm glad we don't got it right now. But I'll, I'll be glad to get that when he comes in. Well, he's going to Vegas tomorrow, but he's headed to Burbank next month. LT, Jerry Littleman from Arkansas. He is your winner of the Chiefs Club Series Championship. Congratulations. We'll head back to Scott and RG to wrap things up. All right, thank you so much, Pete and RG. We had some fun today. There's no doubt about that. And, and, a, and a big shout out to LT. I mean, he looked he looked tough from the get go, and and he. Really